And welcome back. Since Cammie and Blake are not here today, yeah. I got Cammy got there. <laughs> yeah, I figured it's it, it it's like a perfect time to bring back a real crowd favorite, Turton Back Time. Be back with Turton Back Time. All right, not, not so much a, a crowd as like a small <laughs> group, right? Uh huh. Okay, it was a couple of guys I saw at McDonald's. Anyway, since it's the end of the week, I thought I would take a look at the week ahead. So here we go. November 7, 1876, Rutherford B. Hayes wins the U.S. presidential election, beating Samuel Tilden by a single electoral vote. You don't think your vote counts? Yeah, anyway, no. single electoral vote. A happy birthday to Albert Camus, born November 7, 1913, French Nobel winning writer. One of his more favor, fa uh, famous quotes, don't walk behind me, I may not lead. Don't walk in front of me, I may not follow. Just walk beside me and be my friend. November 8, 1805, the famed explorers Meriwether Lewis and William Clark reached the Pacific Ocean, completing their search for a route to the West. Happy birthday to Bram Stoker, born November 8, 1847, Irish author best known for his novel Dracula in 1897. Stoker took the name for his count from Vlad Dracul, also known as Vlad the Impaler. November 9, 1979, NORAD notified the National Security Advisor that the Soviet Union had launched 250 ballistic missiles toward the United States stating a decision to retaliate would need to be made by the president within three to seven minutes. NORAD computers then placed the number of incoming missiles at 2,200. Strategic Air Command was notified, nuclear bombers prepared for takeoff, and minutes later, satellite and radar systems determined the, uh, the attack was a false alarm. A training scenario had actually accidentally been loaded into an operational computer. That close, all right? Happy birthday to Hedy Lamarr, born November 9th, 1914. Austrian actress, played Delilah in the 1948 film Sans Samson and Delilah, considered film's most beautiful actress. At the beginning of World War II, Lamarr and composer George Antiel uh, de developed a secret communication system using spread spectrum and frequency hopping. The principles of their work are now incorporated into modern Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, those types of technology. November 10th, 1977, Louis Joy Brown, the first test tube baby is conceived. The process in vitro fertilization actually took place in a Petri dish, not a, not a test tube. Happy birthday to Mabel Norman, born November 10th, 1892, American actress, she tossed the first pie ever thrown in a movie, the 1913 silent film A Noise from the Deep, hitting Roscoe, Fatty Arbuckle, in the face with a custard pie. <laughs> November 11, 1921, the remains of an unidentified American serviceman from World War I are interred at, interred at Arlington National Cemetery. President Warren G. Harding officiated over the ceremonies. Three weeks earlier, four unidentified Americans were exhumed from French graveyards, and one was selected at random for internment at uh, the tomb of the unknown soldier. The other three were returned to their resting place in France. Happy birthday to Jonathan Winters, born November 11th, 1925, American Emmy and Grammy winning comedian. He played Mork and Mindy's son, Mirth. All right? And finally this. Tammy, all right, when I was yeah. a little kid, yeah. I broke my arm in two places. What do you think the doctor said to me? Don't go to those places anymore. Oh <laughs> that wraps it up for this edition of Turton Back Time. <laughs> if I could turn back time.